David, you've had some experience on the European tour. What did you learn from that? Um, what did I learn? Oh, I learned, I think the main takeaway for me was that I felt prepared and I felt ready to play at that level. Um, I, did, I didn't feel overwhelmed by the experience. I felt pretty much at home. So um, more than anything, it was it added to my self-belief that I can play at that level. And although I missed the cut by one, which was pretty devastating at the time, I took took a lot away from it in that term. So that was good. You're a proven winner so far in your professional career. What do you think's enabled you to get the best out of yourself under the pressure? Um, I think just the preparation. I, I'm, I'm generally well prepared for the tournaments I play for and playing and and um, just uh, sticking to my game plan and um, yeah, and just focusing. I, I, I'm pretty good at not letting things distract me too much. So um, playing when I was playing with the lead out on the MENA tour for that that first big win of mine, um, yeah, I just stuck in and had a good run. So. What role has being a part of Trinifold Sports played in your progress? Um, it's just having a support group, I think, I think is big. Um, I think in terms of building a team around me, obviously I've had a swing coach for, for a long time, as, as most of us do, but also We've just added to it and really solidified a team around me with um, Harvey Hillary coming from from the group, but also for me just learning how important that team is. So I've obviously added my own elements to that, whether it's my strength coach or some short game coach and stuff like that. So yeah, I think the team elements big. Would it be fair to say you're one of the more senior members of the team, a leader? Yeah, well, it's I mean, in terms of by age, it's definitely true. I think. I'm one of the oldest, probably Sean is also up there. Um, but yeah, I've been playing full-time golf for a long time, um, pretty much since I left school. So since I was sort of 18, 19, because um, I went to university and then after university I played two years of amateur golf for England and then finally turned pro. So I've uh, taken it one step at a time, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't have changed anything. Where do you feel your game is heading into this summer? I feel pretty good. Um, obviously, last year was a good year for me, even though COVID happened, and I managed to get some good tournaments under my belt at the start of the year, and then the rest of the year was a little bit, a um, little bit of a non-year. Um, but since then, the the time I've spent out in America has been really good because I've been able to play through the winter, and and plus with the European Tour event at the start of the year. Um, I think I've got some good experiences under my belt and uh, I think I've got a lot of reps under my belt to keep me going through the year. Um, I think where my game's at right now, I'm sort of adjusting a bit back to the weather. So like this week playing in the wind was, um, even though my game felt all right, I was, I was probably lacking a little bit of experience compared to the other guys mm -hmm. in the wind golf. So I'm sure just getting back out there and playing a lot is going to be going to be good for me. So I'm looking forward to getting the season started. Really, some great opportunities coming your way this year. Where would you hope to see yourself in 12 months' time? Um, loaded question, really, because you know at the end of the day, I'm just trying to play as good as I can. Um, I think there's definitely the potential with I've, I'm owed a few Challenge Tour starts from the Mina Tour, and then. Obviously, if I can win some more Challenge Tour starts through Trinifold, then there's a potential to to get a good handful of Challenge Tour starts, and then you never know. Once you get a few under your belt, you might you might be able to earn enough money to keep a car for the next year. So that that would be, um, I think, in terms of what would what would a really good year look like, that would that would probably be it. Basically. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.